In this video, we're going to see which would win in a fight between Prime Hydration and Gatorade. In the blue corner, we have Gatorade, the sports drink that is a household name hydrating athletes and non-athletes alike. In the red corner, we have Prime Hydration, the new sports drink in town launched by two of the biggest YouTubers, Logan Paul and KSI, contending for Gatorade's place. Guys, we have an announcement. We have a project we want to tell you about. We have created our own drink company. Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, JJ, honor. No longer oh, rivals, no. <laughs> brothers, yeah. business partners. It. That's it. We love y'all. Help, help me understand, honestly. We made a better for you drink that tastes better. Yeah. So why the f would we not overtake Gatorade eventually? But which is the best sports nutrition drink? Which one will deliver the knockout blow? Stay tuned to find out my thoughts on it as a registered nutritionist. Round 1. Calories A 500ml bottle of Prime Hydration will give you 25 calories, whereas a 500ml bottle of Gatorade Cool Blue will give you 120 calories. So Gatorade has more calories than Prime Hydration. It's important when choosing a sports drink to consider your activity level, caloric expenditure and energy needs. If you're engaging in endurance activities or strenuous sports, you may need a sports drink that is high in calories, so Gatorade may be the better choice. However, if you're exercising for over an hour but trying to lose weight, you may want to replete electrolytes without consuming extra calories. For those trying to maintain or lose weight, an important factor to consider is energy balance or the balance between the number of calories you consume and burn. If sports drinks are unnecessary for the type of exercise you do, consuming them provides you with unnecessary calories that could hinder your weight loss goals. So if you're trying to watch those calories and don't engage in long or intense training sessions, then Prime may be the better choice. I think this round is a draw. Round two, carbohydrates. The carbs in these drinks are often in the form of sugars like glucose, sucrose and fructose, but they also may be found in other forms. Your body stores carbs in your muscles and liver called glycogen, which is used for fuel during exercise. Consuming carbs before or during exercise can help slow down how quickly your body runs out of its own carbohydrate stores, which can help with improving exercise performance or recovery. A 500ml bottle of Prime will give you 6 grams of carbohydrates, whereas a 500ml bottle of Cool Blue Gatorade will give you 29 grams of carbohydrates. Gatorade has more carbohydrates than Prime, which may benefit athletes who engage in long or intense training sessions. But Prime may appeal to those who want water and electrolytes without extra carbs. So which is better really comes down to your requirements. So I think round 2 is also a draw. Round three, sugar. Many sports drinks contain sugar to help athletes replace carbohydrate loss during exercise quickly. A bottle of Prime will give you two grams of sugar, but no added sugar, whereas a bottle of Gatorade will give you 20 grams of sugar, most of which is added sugar. Prime does not have added sugar, so to make it taste sweet, they use artificial sweeteners such as sucralose and asulfame potassium. But are artificial sweeteners a good alternative to sugar? Well, we should all limit the amount of added sugar we consume. Why? Well, excess sugar intake is linked to higher risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity and fatty liver disease, which is definitely not good. The American Heart Association recommends limiting added sugars to 24 grams per day, which is about 6 teaspoons for women, and 36 grams, which is about 9 teaspoons per day for men. So, if you're choosing a sports drink with added sugar, be sure not to exceed these daily limit recommendations. But is it good to use sweeteners? Sweeteners don't contain carbohydrates, so they don't affect blood glucose levels immediately after consumption. Organisations such as the British Heart Foundation and the American Diabetes Association suggest the use of low calorie sweeteners in place of sugars can be useful for managing diabetes as they provide a sweet taste without affecting blood glucose levels. So, if you're trying to manage your blood glucose levels, then choosing a sports drink that has sweeteners may be the better choice. 
The main issue with Gatorade is that it has a considerable amount of added sugar which is not necessary for individuals in the general population who do not exercise intensely. So I think Prime may just win this round. Round 4 Electrolytes Water is the main ingredient in both Prime and Gatorade, but they also contain other substances including carbs and electrolytes which are supposed to improve performance. When you sweat, your body loses fluid and electrolytes. Sports drinks contain electrolytes including potassium, sodium, magnesium and calcium to help combat dehydration. They work with your body to improve the absorption of fluid and replenish mineral losses. The main electrolytes found in sports drinks are sodium and potassium. A 500ml bottle of Prime will give you 10mg of sodium and 700mg of potassium. Whereas a 500ml bottle of Gatorade will give you 380mg of sodium and 200mg of potassium. Each bottle of Prime Hydration contains 10% coconut water which is a natural source of electrolytes and minerals such as potassium, magnesium, sodium and calcium. Both Prime and Gatorade provide a good source of electrolytes. So round four is a draw. Round five, the final round, artificial colors. Prime has no artificial colors, whereas Gatorade contains artificial colors like brilliant blue or blue one. Are artificial colorings bad for you? Well, there is no conclusive evidence that food dyes are dangerous for most people. Saying that, they may cause allergic reactions in some people and hyperactivity in sensitive children. A study published in the International Journal of Occupational and Environmental Health, which was carried out on animals, concluded that blue one could cause hypersensitivity reactions. Overall, the less products we consume that contain food dyes, the better. So as Prime contains no artificial colours, round five goes to Prime. And the winner is, well, as you probably guessed, there is no clear winner between Prime and Gatorade. But I think Prime just might have the edge as it doesn't have a ton of added sugar or artificial colors. When it comes to choosing the best sport drink, it's important to consider your exercise habits as well as the duration and intensity of your training. While sports drinks can benefit athletes who engage in long or intense training sessions, they are probably unnecessary for most gym goers. If you perform light to moderate exercise such as walking or jogging for less than one hour, you probably do not need to use a sports drink that is high in calories. Sports drinks are very popular among athletes and recreational exercises, but it's debated whether they are any better than plain water. Most active individuals in the general population do not exercise intensely enough or long enough to need sports drinks. If you choose sports drinks, be aware of their calorie content. Overall, whether you choose Prime or Gatorade really depends on your needs and requirements. Sports drinks can benefit very active individuals and athletes, but they are not necessary for most people. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then press that subscribe button. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you on the next one.